Hello and hi everyone. Today, I'll share about the life cycle of cooking oil which is vegetable palm oil that extensively used in Malaysia. Let's keep an eye out. This is the table of contents that I will use to describe the introduction, product life cycle, environmental impact, recommendation, as well as conclusion. The first part is introduction. Are you familiar with the meaning of the term cooking oil? Cooking oil is a form of fat that made from plants, animals, or synthetic materials and is used in frying, baking, and other sorts of cooking. It is typically a liquid, although some oils that contain saturated fat at room temperature. Then we'll look at what palm oil is and what it's used for. Palm oil is a valuable and versatile vegetable oil that is utilized as a raw material for both food and non-food industries. The fact of palm oil that we should know is palm oil is the first vegetable oil to be certified as sustainable in the world. Second, it is naturally free of trans fats and non-GMO and richest source of vitamin E tocotrienols, which support brain and heart health. Malaysia is one of the world's largest palm oil exporter and in 2020, Malaysia accounted for 25.8% and 34.3% of world's palm oil. Production and Exports Now we move to the history of palm oil. In the middle 15th century, palm oil is being used as a local food source by European travelers to West Africa. Next, in 16th and 17th centuries, red palm oil became as an important item in developing trade networks supplying caravans and ships of the Atlantic slave trade. Later in 18th century shows that British Industrial Revolution created palm oil demand for candle making and lubricant for machines. In early 19th century, the European is run plantations that were set up in Central Africa and Southeast Asia. While in 1902, German investment in Cameroon brought about the discovery of the tenera breed of palm oil. This high-yielding breed is used today in large-scale plantations. In year 1910, palm oil introduced into Malaysia by a Scotsman named William Syme and an Englishman by the name of Henry Darby. Did you know that Syme Darby Plantation is taken from the name of these two people? Next in 1940-1960, technological improvements in edible oil refining and transport drive the usage of non-hydrogenated palm oil in Western foods. Lastly, year 1970-1990 Malaysia emerged as the world's largest palm oil producer. By 1990 global palm oil production reached close to 11 million metric tons. Then, the second part is the life cycle of cooking oil. There are five stages of product life cycle, starting with raw material extraction, production, distribution, consumption, and lastly is end of life. As for the raw material extraction, the ingredients are refined palm oleum which is obtained from refining crude palm oil. It is a light yellow liquid and semi-solid at room temperature, melting to a clear yellow liquid on slight heating. Antioxidants Antioxidants are food additives used to slow lipid oxidation and other deleterious reactions. As a result, they help preserve food quality and shelf life. Most of the natural antioxidants are derived from plant materials, such as fruits, vegetables, herbs, and spices, and also addictive from plant and synthetic origin. Second phase of product life cycle is production. The palm oil through the first process which is fresh fruit bunch reception. Fresh fruit arrives from the field as bunches or loose fruit. The fresh fruit is normally emptied into wooden boxes suitable for weighing on a scale so that quantities of fruit arriving at the processing site may be checked. After that, palm oil through the sterilization or cooking means the use of high temperature wet heat treatment of loose fruit. Sterilization uses pressurized steam that destroys oil splitting enzymes and arrests hydrolysis and autoxidation. Fruit cooking weakens the pulp structure, softening it and making it easier to detach the fibrous material and its contents during the digestion process. Next throughout the threshing which is removal of fruit from the bunches. The fresh fruit bunch consists of fruit embedded in spikelets growing on a main stem. In a mechanized system a rotating drum or fixed drum equipped with rotary beater bars detach the fruit from the bunch, leaving the spikelet on the stem. Then, the digester process. Digestion is the process of releasing the palm oil in the fruit through the rupture or breaking down of the oil-bearing cells. Pounding, or digesting the fruit at high temperature, helps to reduce the viscosity of the oil, destroys the fruit's outer covering, exocarp, and completes the disruption of the oil cells already begun in the sterilization phase. 
Oil palm also having pressing process or extraction stage is to squeeze the oil out of a mixture of oil, moisture, fiber, and nuts by applying mechanical pressure on the digested mash. After that, through the oil clarification or produce palm kernel, oil clarification process which to separate the oil from its entrained impurities and collect the oil. The fluid coming out of the press is a mixture of palm oil, water, cell debris, fibrous material, and non-oily solids. The oil is next refined to remove color, odor, and bitterness. Oil that will be heated is then bleached by filtering it through fuller's earth, activated carbon, or activated clays that absorb certain pigmented material from the oil and also the oil is deodorized. Lastly, packaging of the oil by measured and poured into clean containers, usually plastic bottles for domestic oils which the adding of antioxidant and addictive. The oil clarification causes the palm oil mill effluent, POM, which is a wastewater generated from palm oil milling activities which requires effective treatment before discharge into watercourses due to its highly polluting properties. Third phases in cooking oil life cycle are distribution. Palm oils involved in both international and logistic trade. Vegetable palm oil transported in the international trades on board chemical tankers with stainless steel or coated tanks in segmented parcels while the domestic and short sea trades it is often carried in smaller and less sophisticated tankers with mild steel and uncoated tanks. This packed cooking oil distribute from lorry to the supermarket and the consumer get the cooking oil at the supermarket. In the fourth phases of product life cycle is consumption. The well-produced and high-quality cooking oil could last up to one year without becoming rancid if stored in a dry cool place and lid tightly sealed. But once it opened, cooking oil can used in the first two to three months. When it already used, only consumed in one or two times. This is because during frying, cooking oil releases toxic wastes called aldehydes that are left in the oil. Foods fried using reused oil will absorb the toxic residues of the aldehydes. 98% of the vitamin E content in the oil also will be destroyed after 5 time of frying using the same cooking oil. So, we must always remember to practice it to ensure it does not harm our health. Last stage in product life cycle is end of life. Traditionally, people that have no awareness just dispose the cooking oil. First, the oil content is discharged along with the wastewater from the sink into the drainage and drainage system. Second some people just dumped used cooking oil at landfill with the solid waste disposal but somehow people with awareness recycling it by poured into a sealable container and brought to recycling center. The third part of content in this video is the product impact to the environment. Now we'll look at the impact of cooking oil on the environment. Deforestation happens when the land needs to be clearing for palm oil plantation. Palm oil was responsible for 35% of forest loss in the Indonesian part of Borneo, and 46% on the Malaysian side with dwindling expanses of tropical rainforest. Deforestation release of greenhouse gas emissions, forest fires, disrupted water cycles and increased soil erosion. Loss of biodiversity is also a result of that activity as world is facing an unprecedented rate of species extinctions. In oil palm plantations, inadequate ground vegetation, structural complexity, and poor microclimate are proven reduce species richness. Besides, the production of palm oil contributes to water pollution. Large amount of water used for the palm fruit extraction. As much as 50% of water used in the extraction process becomes palm oil mill effluents. Palm processes have high acidity, and high biological oxygen demand and chemical oxygen demand. When it been discharged into waterways, it contaminates the drinking water and harmful to aquatic life through acidity or eutrophication. The process to empty fruit bunches, waste fibers, and shells contribute to air pollution as they are burned to provide the power requirements for mills. The manufacturing emits particulate matter and carbon dioxide and nitrous oxide to the air. Moreover, distribution process contributes to environmental impact as it produces noise pollution from the lorry that transport the cooking oil to supermarket. Long-term exposure to noise pollution may cause direct health problem to humans such as sleep disturbance, stress, asthma, high blood pressure and cardiac diseases and living organism. Air pollution emission based on miles traveled, ton kilometers of goods transported, quantity of energy consumed, and other measures. Emitted from transportation contributes to smog, and to poor air quality particulate matter and nitrogen dioxide also harm human health. 
transportation of truck emits greenhouse gases it primarily come from burning fossil fuel. Over 90% of the fuel used for transportation is petroleum-based, which includes primarily gasoline and diesel. Transportation of truck emits greenhouse gases it primarily come from burning fossil fuel. Next, cooking oil consumption and end-of-life give impact to environment. This is because water pollution happens when wastewater discharge along with oil and content from the sink into the drainage system. The cleanliness of the river is polluted with oil content as a result of irresponsible attitudes by the consumers. It produces rancid odors, foul shorelines, and clog water treatment plants. Part 4 is the recommendation to reduce the environmental impact from the life cycle of cooking oil. As for the recommendation, we need to change the cooking method instead of frying the food to steam, grill and roast it to reduce the impact to the environment. Second, measure oil with a teaspoon each time when cooking rather than pouring freely from the bottle to ensure you are consuming oil in a fixed and measured quantity. Reducing the amount of fat and oil use is the most cost-effective way of dealing with it. This is also the best option for the environment. Making these changes can help you reduce the oil you use by 40 to 50% and make cost savings. Third, choose snacks that are roasted or steamed over fried snacks to reduce the usage of oil to save the environment. Last, the important thing is to recycle the cooking oil at the Nearness Recycle Center. This recycled cooking oil will be transformed to the new product which is soap and biodiesel. In conclusion, the process to produce this vegetable palm oil have the bad impact to the environment starting from the raw material extraction, production, distribution, consumption, and end of life. However, palm oil production is a very important for economic sector in Malaysia and encouraged to support locally made product, but we still can reduce the environmental impact by having awareness to always recycle.